Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to teach you how to run a profit and loss statement in QuickBooks Online. This tutorial is one of our 46 free QuickBooks Online tutorials that you can find by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. So let's get started. Today we're learning how to run a profit and loss statement, or often called, oftentimes called an income statement. QuickBooks Online makes reporting very easy uh, and convenient. So to access all of our reports, let's go to reports in our left menu bar. Now under my favorites, you can see that I've already marked the profit and loss statement as one of my favorites. But let's go down to where it's normally located in the business overview and over here we can see profit and loss. Now they've already designed a lot of customized profit and loss statements by different items. So we have a year to date statement, we have by class, by customer, by location, by month. So they've already customized a lot of profit and loss statements. But if you just want the general profit and loss, let's go to that. And here we can customize it ourselves. So notice it gives you the profit and loss statement. If you scroll up a little bit, it gives you all sorts of options. So let's start by looking at these options. So this is actually a sample company file. And so the transactions are actually dated in 2024. So I am going to change the dates here to the beginning and ending of the year 2024. Okay, then I can click run report and it gives me the 2024 profit and loss statement. Plenty of other options. Uh, we can choose from, we can display columns. Um, so if you want to do a monthly report, you could display columns by month. Okay, I'm going to change that back to just totals. Uh, you can show non-zero activity if you want or not. This is only the active rows and columns. If you want to make it comparative, you can compare it to a previous period. Okay, so in the sample company file, there are no transactions in 2023, but normally that would be your prior period. We'll change that back. And here you can choose whether you want it to be an accrual uh, basis, profit and loss statement, or a cash basis. So oftentimes companies will keep their books on the accrual basis for their own personal purposes, but on the cash basis for tax purposes. The main difference being accrual will show your income from receivables, accounts receivables that you haven't actually collected yet, and accounts payable that you haven't actually paid yet, whereas the cash basis will only show income and expense when you actually pay them. Okay, so those are the basic options there. However, if you go over here to customize, there's a whole bunch more options. So here are the options. The general options are just uh, repeated again. They're the same as we just went over. So your period, your accounting method. Uh, here you can format your numbers. How do you want your negative numbers to show? Rows and columns. Again, very easy to, to, uh, to navigate. Here are the different columns you can choose to show. Um, filter, filter by all sorts of items. If you want to do it by a particular customer or by a particular vendor, you can do that. You can print it for a particular class. So in order to really make use of all these things, you want to make sure that as you're entering transactions into QuickBooks Online, that you're classifying them by class, by location, by product or service, so that when you go to do your income statement, you have all of these options available to you. So if you're not doing that now and you want to learn how to set that up, you can Google our Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. Start at the beginning of the tutorials and that'll show you how to set up your company. Choose these options so that when you go to create an income statement, you'll have them available. And then you have some header and footer options. So a lot of great options, super easy to customize your statement. Um, once you set these options to what you want, you can hit run report and it'll update it. Now, once you get to the report run, you have some options here. A uh, basic option is simply to print it, print it to your, it'll, uh, print it to your printer, very simple. Um, another option is you can email it. It'll email it as a PDF. Another option is you can download it. And here you can actually download it as either a PDF if you want to perhaps just save it on your computer or you can export it to Excel, which will then allow you to manipulate it within Excel if you want to somehow change it a little bit. Okay, once you have a report customized, uh, if you want to produce that same report every time you look at the profit and loss statement, you can save your customization, give it a custom name, hit save, 
And then when you go to your report list, it'll show under custom reports. Great. So that's how you run a profit and loss statement in QuickBooks Online. I hope this was helpful. Again, check out all of our tutorials at Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials.